Good morning, everyone. Hello and welcome to today's session. I can see your uh, most of you are using the chat and I'm very happy to see that you have changed the setting that I asked you to change yesterday and the days before. For those of you who are um, here for the first time, please go to the chat box and where you type your message, right above this line, it says to and in blue, it says all panelists. I want you to click the all panelists button and change it to all panelists and attendees so that everybody can see your message. I can see people say yes, I've done it. Excellent. Very well done. I also read earlier some of your messages and you wrote that the weather where you are is very good. Is this true? Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's great. That's great to know. So uh, just the usual reminder that those of you who are here with me live today, uh, we will be using the chat box a lot. So I will be asking you questions and I, would inv I will invite you to answer to my questions using the chat box. If you are watching this, um, the recorded version of today's webinar, you will not be able to respond because uh, it will be a video, but you can still follow our webinar. If you have questions for us, please use another box, use the Q&A box. You can activate the Q&A box right next to the, um, on the bottom of your screen where you have the Zoom toolbar. And this box is, if you have questions for us, we will reply, we will respond there. Some people are asking about the recordings. We will send you an email with the link to all the videos um, later this week. So when we finish with all four webinars, today's our fourth one, today's the last webinar we do for this level. When we finish, we will collect all the links together and we will send them to you. So don't worry about the recordings, you will receive them. Let's start. So on Monday and Tuesday, guys, I just to remind you, we focused on the topic discussion phase of the Jesse 5 exam. We focused on preparing and then on actually participating in that discussion. Yesterday and today, we are focusing on the conversation phase of the exam. How long is the conversation phase? Ah, the conversation phase is five minutes. We said 10 minutes is for both phases, for both stages, yeah? So the conversation is five minutes. Yesterday, we looked at how to prepare for the conversation phase. I shared some tools, some websites with you that I think will be very useful for you to prepare, to read, to listen about each topic, to focus on your vocabulary and your language as well. Uh, and today we are going to focus on actually doing the conversation phase. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to work with me today a little bit. So we will uh, do a lot of watching and some activities together. So I hope you're ready for that. There's going to be a lot of typing in the chat box. Please get ready. 
So what we're going to do here is our overview. We will start with looking at what makes a strong performance at the conversation phase. So what are the characteristics of a good performance, of a good conversation phase? We will continue with uh, this question. We will ask ourselves how uh, we can do very well at these phase. It's be about us, huh? a more personal question. And then we will finish um, talking about things that you should not worry, you shouldn't do, and you shouldn't worry about during the conversation phase. Uh, and that is what that will be the menu for today. So my first question is, what makes a strong performance at the conversation phase? What do you think? What is a characteristic of good? So some people say confidence already. Interaction. Practice and confidence, I see. Body language as well. Very important. Listening, a fluid, uh, fluent speech. Somebody said perfect language. Uh? Knowledge of the topics, eye contact, relax, good vocabulary I read. Ideas, being natural, yes. Okay, okay, clear pronunciation, right. So what we are going to do is we will focus on the communication skills we will focus on what, we will put a different hat, we will be the examiner, yeah, all of us now, for the next activity. And the first thing the examiner focuses on is the communication skills of the learner, of the candidate. And what this means is, question number one, does the candidate show understanding of the examiner by responding appropriately to questions. So the examiner wants to see that if they ask you a question, you can respond, you understand the question. Remember, it's a listening and speaking test. So that's number one, if the candidate understands the question. Number two, does the candidate respond to requests for clarifications? So if you say something and the examiner doesn't understand, maybe the examiner will ask you a question, will, would ask you, what do you mean? Can you explain this? So do you respond to that? Do you, are you able to explain something you say? And are you able to give reasons for making particular statements? For example, you say, I prefer listening to rock music. Or my favorite type of music is, I don't know, rock. Are you able to say why? Are you able to say because and explain? And the third question the examiner asks is, does the candidate ask at least one question about a subject area? So these are the first three questions that we have. Question number one, does the candidate understand the questions? Question number two, does the candidate explain does the candidate give reasons? And question number three, does the candidate ask at least one question about the subject area? How are these three questions? Do you understand them? Are we okay to go to move on? Yeah? Excellent. So what I will ask you to do now is I want you to be the examiner. And I want you, I'll play a video of, the co of a conversation phase. And I want you to tell me, I don't want comments about language. 
I don't want comments about grammar. I don't want comments about anything. I want you to focus on these three questions. Does the candidate respond to the questions? Does the candidate understand? Does the candidate give reasons? Does the candidate ask at least one question? <clears throat> so, here, okay. So I'm going to play this recording. Please watch for four minutes and remember the three questions that I asked you. Let's go. Well, thank you for talking about your topic. We'll move Was the sound okay? Did, could you hear? Yeah. Excellent. I play again. I play the rest now. I want to talk about something different. Yes. Um, we're going to talk about entertainment. Yes. Um, now, I spend too much time on my phone and on my iPad. How about you? I do spend time in my phone. Mm -hmm. So, uh, battery 100% to 10% in a day. Oh, <laughs> okay. oh really? Pretty, yeah. And what do you prefer to look at on your phone? Uh, I do prefer like uh, Facebook, uh, WhatsApp and mm -hmm. uh, YouTube. Now, when, when I look at YouTube, I prefer to watch travel videos. What kind of things do you prefer to look at? Yeah, I do watch like right now cricket mm -hmm. play going on World Cup. So I do watch that one as well. Do you prefer football or cricket? Uh, it depends on time who is playing right now, like yeah. his cricket is on live, so I do watch that. Uh -huh. And sometimes when football is playing, so I watch football. Now, um, I prefer to go to the cinema to watch a movie. Have you been to the cinema recently? I've been last uh, Sunday. Mm -hmm. uh, and what kind of movies do you prefer? I do like English movies, but uh, last time I watched was Bollywood mm -hmm. movies. How much is a ticket to the cinema where you live? Uh, in Leicester, like in yeah, uh, I, there's an Odeon cinema. It's, it's uh, five pound. Really? And wow, that's very cheap. They they got, seats, they got uh -huh. brand new seats, mm -hmm. but uh, in showcase we went. I didn't get full mm -hmm. ticket. Uh, for, uh, I didn't uh, get a ticket because it was all full. Oh, really? So wow. Full. <clears throat> so I have to go to the another cinema. I uh -huh. spent about £10 something. Ah, oh, I paid more than that. We've got a big new cinema. It's really expensive. Really? Yeah, but it's very comfortable. I love it. <laughs> cinema is good to watch it because you get a different uh, environment mm -hmm. and all that. But uh, mm -hmm. it all depends on time. Yeah. And because if you finish work late, then you don't. That's you can't true. go. If you, if you got spare time, then cinema mm -hmm. is good. Um, and does your family watch much TV at home? Yeah, we do watch TV at home, like uh, serials going on mm -hmm. and some news going mm -hmm. on. So okay. do watch it. Um, ask me a question about entertainment. Mm, do you like uh, music? Um, I don't listen to music much, but I've just bought an Alexa, you know, the little round speaker. Yes. So I've started listening to a, to a bit more these days. Okay. Um, well, thank you. Now we'll talk about something different now. We're yes. going to talk about transport. Yes. Tell me about the public transport in, in Leicester where you live. Do you use it very much? Yeah, I do use it uh, because I work well, wherever I work, like uh, it's only say five, seven minutes near mm -hmm. work, so I, I go by bus. And how long does it take from your house to the city centre on a bus? Uh, it's, uh, by bus, it's like seven minutes. Oh, very quick, very quick. Um, and do you travel by train very much? I've not been on the train recently, but I think I've been last year mm -hmm. when I was mm -hmm. travelling. Um, have you been on a plane recently? Yes, I. But last February I went to uh, India. Oh, lovely! To see my family and wedding, attending wedding. And how how long is the plane journey from England to India? 
It's about uh, seven and a half hours journey, okay. between seven to eight hours journey. If and I if I get direct flight mm-hmm. from Heathrow, I prefer direct flights. Yes. So is he Heathrow's the easiest um, airport for you, or do you prefer to go from Manchester? Man is a Manchester for for me is Manchester and Heathrow is like same uh, oh, okay. same distance, uh-huh. but Birmingham is quite. Uh, easiest and are there a lot of flights to India from Birmingham yes like a couple of flights goes there Mm -hmm. but not direct flights direct flights is only from Heathrow okay I see I see ask me a question about transport have you just traveled before uh, uh, by flight Uh, the last time I was on a plane was um, about 10 days ago and I came back from Italy okay yes I visited Venice it was beautiful that's all right do you like uh, bus b- bus service or train service? No, I prefer the train um, because train. you've got more more space around you and it's it's just more comfortable than the bus. How do you came from Bournemouth? Um, well, I came from London on the train okay, London this morning. Train. Yes, it was really fast. Oh. <laughs> um, well, we're finished. Thank you very much. Thank it you. was really nice. All right, guys. I, I read your comments. I know you were writing there. Remember, our focus is the communication. Huh? We, don't want, we don't want to focus on language now. And was this, did it seem like a natural conversation? Was it, yeah, did, did the, uh, if you had a conversation with this person, would you struggle? Yeah, you wouldn't. It was quite natural. He, uh, it showed, the candidate showed understanding of the questions. The candidate responded to the quest, to the examiner's questions naturally. And I saw some comments that he, the, the examiner had to prompt, had to help the uh, candidate to ask a question. But this, is not uh, in, this is okay we understand that under exam in the exam we understand that you are stressed and sometimes the examiner needs to help that's okay that's the the work we saw that on tuesday the examiner will help you if you forget something the examiner will make sure that you have the opportunity to use the language that you have to use so overall, it was a good communication. I think the majority of us agrees. Now, let's have a look at the next task. For the next task, I am going to divide you into two groups. So I want you to pay, I want you to pay attention. Well, thank you for talking about your topic. Okay, so we saw these ones and we said, yes, 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 we are happy with how you did. You are quite happy, actually, yes. So for the next activity, two groups. The first group, please, group A, is going to be whoever of the participants today are uh, your if your birthday is in june july august september october or november yeah can you write in the chat box if this is you can you write in the chat box yes this is me this is group a me 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 yeah okay so remember remember that you are group a and group b is those of you whose birthday is in December, January, February, March, April, or May. So if you are this person, write B. So we know who you are. Okay, perfect. Oh, amazing. Great, great, great. You're doing really well. I know I will have you, I I told you I will have you work today. That's what we do. So group A, you are going to focus on language, functions and grammar. I'm going to show you now exactly what I mean. So if you are, listen, if you are B, close your eyes. You don't care. Don't look at the screen. The screen is for A now. 
Yeah, so group A. I want you to focus on the following. Does the candidate talk about the future? Does the candidate use will? Does the candidate express preferences? Does the candidate say, I prefer, I'd rather? You don't need to respond now. I see you're responding. I will play the recording again. But these are the questions I want you to focus on. Does the candidate talk about the indefinite and recent past? Like we saw yesterday with the present perfect. Yeah, I have worked. I have visited. I have gone. I have been. And also, does the candidate stay the duration of events? For, ever, since, ever, never, just. I have traveled, you know, I have lived here for two years. Does the candidate give reasons? And does the candidate use phrases such as a lot of, not very much, many, a few, a couple? So this is, this is the task for group A. If you're a group A, are you okay? Can I move on? Tell me in the chat box. Yep. So this is what I want you to focus on. Now group A, you can relax. Let's look at group B. So if you're a group B, this is for you. I want you to focus on the vocabulary and the pronunciation of the candidate. So I, I want you to tell me, does the candidate use vocabulary specific to the subject areas? Means of transport, for example. You will tell me later, because we will watch the video again. Does the candidate use expressions relating to past and future time? like two days ago, in the future, next year, last year. Does the candidate use correct pronunciation of this vocabulary? What does correct mean? It means, can we understand? Maybe not everything is perfect, of course. Each one of us, we have a different pronunciation. Some people live in one part of the world. Some people live in another part of the world. The important thing is that we can understand. Okay, that's for group B. And finally, for group B, use of contractions. So, and I want you to hear for I've, I've. Huh? That's an example. If the candidate uses contractions. So I'm going to play the video one more time. I will play it here. If you are group A, you are focusing on what? Type in the chat box, please. Group A focuses on grammar. Group A focuses on grammar, past, future, quantifying, yes, because. And if you're group B, you focus on, you focus on, if you're B, you focus on vocabulary and pronunciation. Vocabulary and pronunciation. You're all doing amazing. I'm going to play it now. Please do not focus on the video. Do not use the chat box now. We will use it when the video is over, when it finishes. So for now, I want you only to listen. No need, don't, you don't need to type. Well, thank you for talking about your topic. We'll move on and talk about something different. Yes. Um, we're going to talk about entertainment. Yes. Um, now, I spend too much time on my phone and on my iPad. How about you? I do spend time in my phone. Mm -hmm. So, but. Uh, battery 100% to 10% in a day. Oh, <laughs> okay. oh really? Yeah. 
And what do you prefer to look at on your phone? Uh, I do prefer like uh, Facebook, uh, WhatsApp and mm -hmm. uh, YouTube. Now, when, when I look at YouTube, I prefer to watch travel videos. What kind of things do you prefer to look at? Yeah, I do watch, like right now, cricket mm -hmm. play going on World Cup, so I do watch that one as well. Do you prefer football or cricket? Uh, it depends on time who is playing right now, like yeah. his cricket is on live, so I do watch that. Uh -huh. And sometimes when football is playing, so I watch football. Now, um, I prefer to go to the cinema to watch a movie. Have you been to the cinema recently? I've been last uh, Sunday. Mm -hmm. uh, and what kind of movies do you prefer? I do like English movies, but uh, last time I watched was Bollywood mm -hmm. movies. How much is a ticket to the cinema where you live? Uh, in Leicester, like in... Yeah. Uh, I, there's an Onion Cinema, it's, it's uh, five pound. Really? And wow, got, that's very cheap. That they, they've got uh -huh. brand new seats, uh -huh. but uh, in showcase we went, I, I didn't get a full uh -huh. ticket. Uh, for, uh, I didn't uh, get a ticket because it was all full. Oh, really? So full. Wow. <clears throat> so I have to go to the another cinema, I uh -huh. spent about £10 something. Ah, oh, I paid more than that. We've got a big new cinema, it's really expensive. Really? Yeah, but it's very comfortable, I love it. <laughs> cinema is good to watch it because you get a different uh, environment mm -hmm. and all that, but uh, mm -hmm. it all depends on time Yeah. and because if you finish work late, then you don't. That's you can't true. go. That's if, true. You, if you've got spare time, then cinema mm -hmm. is good. Um, and does your family watch much TV at home? Yeah, we do watch TV at home, like uh, serials going on mm -hmm. and some news going mm -hmm. on. So okay. do watch it. Um, ask me a question about entertainment. Um, do you like uh, music? Um, I don't listen to music much, but I've just bought an Alexa, you know, the little round speaker. Yes. So I've started listening to a, to a bit more these days. Okay. Um, well, thank you. Now we'll talk about something different now. We're yes. going to talk about transport. Yeah. Tell me about the public transport in, in Leicester where you live. Do you use it very much? Yeah, I do use it uh, because I work well, wherever I work, like uh, it's only say, five, seven minutes near mm -hmm. work, so I, I go by bus. And how long does it take from your house to the city centre on a bus? Uh, it's, uh, by bus, it's like seven minutes. Oh, very quick, very quick. Um, and do you travel by train very much? I've not been on the train recently, but I think I've been last year mm -hmm. when I was mm -hmm. travelling. Um, have you been on a plane recently? Yes, I. But uh, last February I went to uh, India. Oh, lovely! To see my family and wedding, attending wedding. And how how long is the plane journey from England to India? It's about uh, seven and a half hours journey oh. between seven to eight hours journey. If and I if I get direct flight mm -hmm. from Heathrow, I prefer direct flights. Yes. So, is he Heathrow's the easiest um, airport for you, or do you prefer to go from Manchester? Man is a Manchester for for me is Manchester and Heathrow is like same uh, oh, okay. same distance, uh -huh. but Birmingham is quite uh, easiest. And are there a lot of flights to India from Birmingham? Yes, yeah, like a couple of flights goes there, mm -hmm. but not direct flights. Direct flights is oh, only from Heathrow. Okay, so. I see, I see. Ask me a question about transport. Have you just travelled before uh, uh, by flight? Uh, the last time I was on a plane was um, about 10 days ago and I came back from Italy. Okay. Yes, I visited Venice, it was beautiful. That's okay. all right. Do you like uh, bus bus service or train service? No, I prefer the train um, because train. you've got more more space around you and it's it's just more comfortable than the bus. How do you came from Bournemouth? Um, well, I came from London on the train okay, London, this morning. Okay. Yes, easy. it was really fast. Oh. <laughs> um, well, we're finished. Thank you very Thank much. You. It was really nice to meet. All right, guys. So, can I ask Group B? Group B people that focus on vocabulary and pronunciation. Can you add in the chat box what you think? You say good pronunciation could be better, okay? Uh, simple words, sometimes I maybe not the right word. Good vocabulary, I see expressions, okay? Yeah. Enough to understand. I think this is a very good comment. 
enough to understand. I like this comment very much. There was enough vocabulary not to create a problem in the conversation. Uh huh. Okay. I'll show you. I'll show you what the examiner said. I'll show you that in a minute. What about the group A people that you are in group A? What do you think? Expressing preference. You all got that. Yes. You didn't hear a future tense. So we had a little bit of an issue with the future. Gave reasons, yes. Okay, I think really, I think you've done a very good job. Yeah, he didn't say lots of, he said other, he said other quantifiers. Eh? He said a couple of, a couple of flights. Uh, and we heard, so we heard in terms of grammar, we heard discussion about the past, we heard preferences, we heard reasons, we heard quantities, we heard duration of events, we heard contractions in pronunciation, we've heard clear pronunciation, we could understand the candidate. We didn't hear a lot of future, maybe. Let's see what the examiner well, said. This is the comment. I will let you read it. I will let you read it. Yeah. So what do we see here? We see somebody who is a very good communicator. If you remember the first question I asked you when we first, when we first discussed the video was about the communication skills. And he's very good at that. There was a natural interaction with the examiner, no problems, but he, there were some errors in his answers and also he didn't give many, uh, he didn't give reasons for his answers, were rather short and we needed some more explanation. Remember, for example, the examiner asked about the two airports and he didn't give a reason and then the examiner had to ask again about the airports. So he did pass. He got a B for this stage. You can see it down here. Yeah, it's a very good. Huh? B is very good. And he did really well. So he's a good example. He's a good example. I'll show you later. I'll show you later a link where you can find more videos. So now I have a question for you. I want you, if you can, please. Yes, it's a pass mark. Yes. I want you to, I will type here in the chat box a link. And I want you to follow, click on this link and answer the question you will see there. Yeah, click on this link and answer the question. I have it in the chat box, in the chat box, please. Not in the screen, here, in the chat box. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, I made a mistake. It's the chat box now. Look at the chat box. Sorry for that. I see you say not working. It 
Somebody has just answered. So I think it is working. Huh? You need to copy and paste it. Listen, can everyone? Just wait a second, wait a second. Do not type in the chat box because then you miss the link. The link is in the chat box and I can see that you have found it because I can see all your answers here. So if I refresh the page, let's see what you think. Oh, wow. So you said, let's see what you think about this. How can you do very well at the conversation phase? So if you see my screen, you'll be able to read everyone's answer. Most of you said practice. Do you see why practice is a very big word here? Most of you said practice. You said be confident, be natural, stay calm, listen and reply, engage the examiner, speak clearly, give reasons. Very good. Understand the examiner, read, uh, communicate, talk about grammar, talk about grammar. Uh, Use correct vocabulary, pronunciation, communicate naturally. Ooh, more people have added now their answers. Prepare in advance. This is all great, great, great. It seems, it seems I don't need to add anything because everything is included here. Can you see, can, can you see all the answers in the screen? Yeah, you can see them. I'll refresh. Ooh, more answers here. And these are all great. This is all your ideas, guys. So this tells me that you are ready, that you know what you need to do to do well in at the conversation phase. Excellent job. So natural, relaxed, confident, calm, a lot of practice in preparation. Of course, practice at home. We, we, we saw that earlier uh, yesterday. So if you haven't watched yesterday's webinar, you will receive a link later on this week. You need to watch that because it tells you how to prepare how to practice and how to make sure that you will be able to be um, uh, calm during the conversation, relaxed and have a natural, friendly conversation. You saw the candidate we saw earlier, the candidate we saw earlier was relaxed, natural, answered to the questions. Yes, maybe there were, there were a few uh, errors with grammar, but the candidate still did really well. The candidate got a B for this stage, which is a very good grade. So I'm going to uh, go back to my presentation here. And let's look at some final tips and some final advice that I have here for you. First of all, we know as an examiner, as examiners, we know that you might, that you might be nervous. It's okay. We know that you are, and the examiner is going to do whatever they can to support you. So don't feel stressed about 
feel stressed. Don't feel stressed about feeling stressed. Okay. Just know that the examiner is there to help and support. We saw on Tuesday, we saw when we looked at the topic discussion, we saw how helpful the examiner was asking the right questions to make sure that the candidate will use the correct language. And we saw it today. We saw the examiner helping the candidate, reminding the candidate that they need to ask a question. Yeah, ask me a question about it. Then, if you can, give full sentence answers. Of course, we expect short answers. Yeah. When you speak to your friends, we use short answers. You know, do you like this? Yes, I do. Do you prefer this or that? This. But, yes, of course, you can interrupt with a question. But uh, it is important that from time to time, you give full sen sentence answers so that you can show to the examiner that you have the right language, that you have the right language for the level, that you can use the past, the present perfect, correct vocabulary, yeah, and so on. It is okay to ask the examiner to repeat or explain. We saw that yesterday and we highlighted today as well. If you don't understand a question, ask for clarification. If you didn't hear the examiner, ask the examiner to repeat. No problem there. Listen carefully to the examiner and respond. Remember yesterday we talked about using the same language the examiner uses in the question. Use it in your response. So when the examiner asks you a question, listen to the language they use and repeat the same language. And finally, believe in yourself. You can do it. Many candidates do it every single, you know, in every exam period. You are one of them. It is not difficult. You've worked hard. You are here. You care for it. You practice. You follow our advice, watch the webinars again, and you will be ready to go and do really well in your exam. So I wish you the very best luck. I'm sure you will do, um, you will do really well in your exams you have to believe that and if you need to watch more videos if you need to find more guidance more advice more activities please follow that website that we have here on our trinity college london website and you will be able to find more resources for you I hope you've enjoyed these four days. It was a great experience for me to be with you. Um, and I wish you all the best for your future. Thank you very much.